the shopping centre uh, in the last oh, eight, nine months, something like that, you may have come across the Rough and Ruby Rooms. And uh, it's a great new uh, unit that's been set up. <coughs> Excuse me. And to talk all about it, I've got the director, founder, I'm not even sure what your title is, Dawn. Dawn DeVille, how are you doing? Hello, thank you. Yeah, well, good night. Um, Rough and Ruby Rooms. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. What's the vision behind it and, uh, you know, kind of how you set it up? Oh, my days. Um, the Rough and Ruby Rooms uh, within Two Potteries is a uh, funky venue. It is a community hub. It is a social enterprise. Um, it is a place where people can come and find belonging. They can get employability skills. Actually shop. So we, we, we've got pre-love clothing, customised clothing. Rachel Shenton, TV actress, has got her own range in there. We've got a trainer bar. You can get your trainers customised. We've got a DJ decks, a performance stage for musicians, community cafe, where we do free brews every day, seven days a week. Um, we've got a children's soft play area sponsored by Just Kidding. Uh, we play community radio, like Cross Rhythms Like Yourselves, and uh, other tunes. We've got a hairdresser, a nail bar. We've got a barber shop. We've got a bike project now, John. So we've got... What does that mean? Yeah. What's a bike project? So we take basically old and unloved bikes, we, we regenerate them, we clean them, we customise them, we pimp them up, pimp my ride, and pimp my stride is the trainer bar. <laughs> and then we sell them back to the community for affordable prices. We also give bikes away to uh, families in need that we work with as a charity. It's such a huge amount of energy because like mostly when you go into a shop, you've got all the racks with clothes <laughs> and you just wander around. There's nice little ambient music yeah, in yeah. the background. And that's pretty much it. But yours is like full on mad, isn't it? Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, it's a real community hub. We get young people in there. It's very young, fresh. You know, it kind of looks like a charity version of Urban Outfitters. Um, but actually, a lot of old people engage with the charity as well. So we get older people coming in doing textile workshops. We get them working on the cafes, volunteers. Uh, we've got a great volunteer programme of about 31 people, all different ages, all different backgrounds who come together to serve this community who love Stoke, who are passionate about people. And uh, it's just a bit of a place to belong. You know, we've got big, lovely leather settees with, with little lounge kind of areas where people can come and feel they're in the living room, they're at home, uh, and they have, always have someone to talk to seven days a week. So tell me what the response is, because uh, I said it's probably been about eight and nine months. Am I right in yeah, terms of the September time? September the 12th. September so the 12th. Now, so what do people <laughs> think then when they're coming in? Because they're, you know, I know they're walking past Debenhams or, or yeah, whatever yeah, or game right. and they come to you and they're like do they kind of like hesitate like yeah, I'm not really sure do I want to come in or not know what it is. some people say it's too cool some people say you know oh it's fantastic but I don't know what it is some people say is it a charity what is it so um, obviously Ruby Girl UK featuring Rough Diamond is a local charity supporting local young people in this city to raise self esteem aspirations give young people potential uh, help them reach your potential find purpose and belonging so the charities work has existed for five years so this is kind of like an icing on a big cake that we've been baking for five years. Robbie Williams's mum, Jan, is involved with our charity, as is Rachel Shenton. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a great piece of work. It's a great place of belonging because it kind of gives that longevity, you know, so young people, we connect with young adults, can come seven days a week, we're there. When we go into the community, we work in schools, we work in hostels, we supported housing, we work. At, we do life coaching, we do random acts of kindness for people in need, referred from the police and from social care in the city and from schools. People can come back seven days a week and have that connection with you. So there's all with somebody you kind of like become like the big sister the big brother to mm. the community now I, I think you um, have cards or something people can kind of comment back can't they tell us what they tell you what yeah, they think of the rooms so, what kind of feedback have you had from amazing. people amazing you know what people write postcards when they come in just like at the tail we kind of how, stalk them and hound them <laughs> joking while they're in there to write a postcard they say <laughs> things like it's amazing it's what Hamley needs it's brought a bit of culture to the city it's not just a corporate shop you know it's got a meaning behind it it's got a DNA behind it that is all about generosity and passion and being a game changer, you know, and the team that kind of run Rough and Ruby are about being game changers. They want to do something extraordinary for the city. They want to love on this city. They want to love people in an extraordinary way. And that's what the kind of story is about. And, you know, Into Potteries are phenomenal. You know, they've given us this amazing opportunity. Their heart to reach this and help this community as well as their, they're a big UK, you know, corporation. The fact that they believe in our city is absolutely outstanding. Is that something that people find hard to receive? Because, like, a lot of what you're doing is, like, um, like some of the slogans on your t-shirts and stuff you're, you're trying to um, encourage people with self-respect and values loving themselves those kind of things yeah, yeah. do people find that hard to receive I mean do some people find it difficult to put a t-shirt on like that do you know what um, a lot of our young people and young adults in this city and I dare say adults it, Stoke is, has got low aspiration you know people don't always believe and have that self-confidence they don't have that self-belief and a lot of the slogans on the t-shirts that we, we say that are really positive phrases is all about crashing that negative chatterbox about the city sitting about themselves and saying, do you know what? This is an amazing city. You are awesome. You are amazing. You only get one chance to live your life. So be 
who you've been created and designed to be, you know, and not in a big headed way that your ears have got different postcodes, <laughs> but actually in a healthy in a healthy way to, to believe in yourself and to live the life you were born to live. You know, what are you born for? We say to a lot of young people, so the positive stuff, a lot of people struggle to wear it because they're not used to that positivity. They're used to negative mindset. They're used to being often put down personally, but also, you know, as a city, sometimes I think in Stoke in the past, we've got a bad press. Actually, we want to, we, Stoke is an amazing place, you know, and I love the fact that Jason Manford's had that thing on Facebook recently saying, what is great about Stoke? Do you know what? Everything is great about Stoke. And it's kind of like your imperfections are your perfection to me. So I'll, I'll, we love this city and that's why we're doing what we do as a charity. It's fantastic. Now, you said so much. I can't believe you can cram all that into that <laughs> unit. Um, but I'm sure you've also got ideas and vision and things that you want to do. What's in your heart and mind? What are you working on, say, in the next six months to a year? What do you want to do? Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, continue to do what we do to an excellent standard and provide the service we do to the community. Uh, we want to offer, be able to offer more employment to the local community so young people who've got potential who haven't found where they belong in another place, they can come and get that employability with us and uh, gain those skills and qualifications they need to progress into the city, into other workforces and continue on with us. There's lots of initiatives we'd love to do in this city with young people. Uh, I can't say them all at the moment, but there's lots of things we want to grow into to, to provide facilities and opportunities and chances to, for young people to make positive choices and turn their lives around and you know we're looking for local businesses to come and invest with us you know if you believe in this generation and you believe in progression and you believe in something that is dynamic and vibrant we're looking for businesses to invest in that so we can really start and pump up the next level for this generation you know to really make a change in our city um if somebody listening to you say that uh, actually yeah i'd like to do something like that or at least have a chat with dawn how do they contact you yeah you can um, call us on 07812 or email us at info at rubygirluk.com or you can pop into the Rough and Ruby rooms in Hanley, the team are there seven days a week and make an appointment. Um, so yeah, please contact us, we'd love um, you to get involved, whether that's from volunteering as part of the team or coming to offer a service. You know, we have lots of collaborators who come and do their thing in our venue, like Hair and Nails, and that they give a percentage to the charity. So whether you've got a skill, you want to give back to the community, make a difference, come and do that. Whether you're a business and you're looking for something to invest in as part of your, you know, corporate social responsibility ethos, we're that we're the people you need to get in talking to. Fantastic. It's great to talk to you, Dawn. Uh, we could talk all afternoon, we I'm could. sure, but <laughs> I'd better bring it to an end. Lovely to see you again. Thank you so much. Hey,